an actress who is immensely successful and highly talented. She's made a comeback with Mr. Kamala since Papanasi, and now she's back opposite Mr. Mohanlal himself in the upcoming trilingual Namaste. Welcome to Nothing Magazine. Thank you, Pramod. Thank you very much. Starting off with uh, Papanasi, I mean, I have to ask you, um, ever since the film came out last year, you know, people have been comparing it with the, its original, the show. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but you as an actor who's worked with both Kamal sir and Mohanlal sir, mm -hmm. what do you think, you know, uh, what do you think are the similarities and dissimilarities between these two legends? Performance well, wise? In the film. In the film. I think the performances are very different and one of the reasons for that is that they have been crafted very differently. The, the characterization of that, that male protagonist in both of them have been conceived very differently. And uh, Drishyam, they did what they did because that's how it was written. When it came to Papanasam, there was a very concentrated effort to make the character look different, give him a different ethnicity, the way he talked, the way he moved the kind of personality, it was a very deliberate attempt to do that. And then both actors are, you know, they're wonderful, wonderful actors. So they, I think they brought their characters to life perfectly. Now, I mean, I've seen the Namudin trailer and, you know, I think after watching it, I realized that it had, you know, it was similar to the Papanasam storyline, genre-wise and story-wise and everything, you know, the crime slash drama slash thriller slash suspense and everything. So, I mean, so what is your role in the film and, uh, you know, how is, now how is this movie different from Papanasam? Actually, that's very interesting that you're saying this because um, there are similarities as in it's the story of, you know, uh, middle class society, middle class people fighting everyday battles, everyday life. But uh, it's a very, very different film from Papanasam. It is very engaging because the, the way the screenplay has been narrated, the way the stories have been interwoven together is beautifully done. It's really beautifully done. And there are a couple of twists and turns along the way that makes it even more interesting. So it's not just a bit of a thrill. It's not just emotional, not just sentiment. There's humor in it. There's you know romance in it. There's uh, a beautiful innocence in it. So the advantage of having these four stories is you get so many different emotions and it's not an overload. It all feels right and all fits together beautifully at the end. So that's the beauty of it. So in that sense, it's a completely different film from Papanasan. Okay, and it's an original subject, so. And your role, uh, keep it about your role. Uh, she is Gayatri and she is a very typical middle class housewife. She's a mother and a wife and a homemaker. And uh, she's going along her whole universe is her world and her family. You know, what, what happens today? What am I going to cook for lunch? And has my daughter finished her homework? And, you know, is my son all right? Oh, he's got a fever. So this kind of things, you know. And in that situation, how because of one random incident that happens, how everything goes off on a tangent. And she starts seeing challenges, starts seeing her world fall apart. And how she deals with it. So that's the beauty of it. This is a challenge that every woman faces in her life. I have faced it so many times in my life. So, and I know my mother, my friends, my, you know, aunts, so many people. It happens to everybody in different, different ways. So that is where everyone will be able to relate to it. Since you know your entire film is in mean, do we get to see you time in, you know, in the acting scenario or are you going to go behind the scenes? I would love, see, I'm greedy. I'm greedy, okay. So costume designing was actually never in my plan, overall plan. The opportunity came, I took it up as a challenge. I, my one weakness is I can never say no when a challenge is thrown at me. So I took it up like that and uh, I've learned so much from it. I've learned an incredible amount. Being a technician in a position which is not very influential in the overall scheme, which means that you get to learn a lot more than if you're pampered and you know you're put in a you know fancy position. So I've learned a lot. I've you know, picked up the slack on a lot of things and been able to work in various departments. So that's amazing for me because my final aim is to get involved in every part of cinema. Behind the scenes is it's a great passion. Being in front of the camera is a great passion for me. So uh, 
costume designing came along i grabbed the opportunity i've learned so much and but my next aim is about making content creating content producing it you know putting it out there for people to watch maybe as a next step but right now it's about content creation for me and i'm very very keen on bringing out new talent fresh talent there are so many people who have that fire in their belly who have trained who have who who gone out put effort into educating themselves but just the fact that you have a degree or you have a great script or you have talent doesn't mean automatically you're ready to go to the next step there is a huge in between uh, space where you need to learn you need to be groomed you need so much so that mentoring process i find very interesting so that is another thing that is driving my next plans in a very strong manner ma'am it's been it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, thank you so much for your time yes thank you so thank much you so and much. i do hope that you watch the film well, of course, and I let me know what you think of course the next time we meet uh, it's you know it's a must i will, I will tell you how i feel